Election officials deliver ballot papers to the Tawie polling station in Conakry. Suleiman Toure is one of up to five million people eligible to vote, and it's the first time in his life he's getting the chance to do so. Because since independence from France in 1958, there's been no democratically elected parliament. After the election, I believe, to my own experience, there will be a development, there will be job facilities, and there will be peace again. These elections are crucial to Guinea's transition from dictatorship to democracy. In 2010, people voted for their first democratically elected president. They were supposed to elect parliamentarians at the same time. But for three years, politicians have been arguing about how to organize the vote. And the poll has been cancelled five times before. In the run-up to the election, the opposition, seen out here campaigning in Conakry, accused the election commission of trying to rig the vote to favor the ruling party. Many foreign election observers have been deployed to make sure things go smoothly. As President Obama said on his very first visit to Africa, the time of strong men is over, and we now need the time of strong institutions. So a lot of the Gideons, a lot of the internationals have said this is about free and fair parliamentary elections. No, it's about good governance. It's about building the institutions of democracy. For many voters, this election is an opportunity to see what difference democracy can make in their lives. And they'll be choosing parliamentarians they think can deliver positive changes. Guinea is rich in natural resources and has the world's largest reserves of bauxite used to make aluminium. But more than 55% of Guineans live in poverty and 72% are illiterate. So many are hoping that new parliamentarians can change these statistics. The new National Assembly would, would help create policies more favorable to investment and investors into the country. Guineans will have to wait three days for results in this election and hope to see the benefits of democracy soon. Yvonne Dege, Al Jazeera, Conakry, Guinea.